What camera I'm using for making my videos? As you see, I upload some videos. And uh, how I do this? Okay, it's very simple. Uh, over the years, I have uh, many cameras. Name it, I had it. At the moment, I have even 40 cameras, video cameras and uh, still photographic cameras. But to be honest, I'm not using any of them anymore as much as this Samsung Galaxy S4 that I have. The reason is very simple. It has a good decent camera, 13 megapixel. I can carry it with myself everywhere. And more importantly, I can share it. I can share what I've photographed or videoed. And that is because it's a mobile phone. I can connect it to anywhere. With the steel cameras, with DSLRs, bridge camera, I had it, zoom cameras, super zoom cameras, pocket cameras, very good, but at the end of the day, it just ends up in a um, hard disk, and you never go back to those things. But with this Samsung Galaxy S4, because it's connected to internet, I have unlimited internet, I practically can view them any, any time that I want. They're easily available. I don't need to go to bring the computer to put the hardware, put the hard disk on, connected USB here, there, then go and make a video. Oh my God. Then connect it to the internet. No, just on the spot, sharp. Take the video, simple editing, go, upload it. I can do simple editing on this, I can pause, I can do, but uh, mostly what I do, I try, because I've watched, uh, I used to watch a lot of French cinema, avant-garde cinema, as you call it. <laughs> I know a little bit about the camera movements here and there, so I just try to use what I've already ran, learned. Uh, with a minimum vid uh, video editing, uh, just make my videos. And uh, that's it. My best camera before this, believe it or not, was just a simple pocket camera because I could get it everywhere. I had one Sony, one Nikon, and uh, one compact uh, Canon. Um, but practically I'm not using it. And also the, all the cameras that I've seen. All the cameras almost. They had this problem of that they, just, they cannot point directly to the sun. It was showing a vertical purple line in the sky, and the sun would be shown as actually added as a burnt out of spot. With this, with the camera of the Samsung Galaxy S4, I can show the sun actually. I can film the sunset, I can point to the moon. Of course, you can point with a zoom and super zoom camera. That is enough for most of the everyday uses. And uh, yeah, so that's the way I upload my videos on YouTube. I know other people have, you know, the incentive to bring out the camera, the video camera, put it out on the tripod, pose for it. Then after all this, you, you end up with just raw footage. This footage is raw and it's huge. If you want to edit it, you need a big, fast computer with a big clock. And then you have to edit it, you have to do upload it, you have to save it, and you need a big hard disk for that. Then at the end of the day, you have to wait several hours just to upload that. And who will watch that, really? Who will really care if you turn your image from left to right or from up to bottom or put up here, these are all the gimmicks that you people do? Nobody, practically. So, I, I, I avoid all those faff as Rick Van Man calls it. <laughs> I would all those faff. Try just to go to the basic. Use what something that I can carry everywhere with me. Other than that, no, it's not for me. Taking with a bigger camera, video camera, which is not connected to the internet. Practically means just for me it's like prison. In a prison you cannot do anything. With those cameras you cannot easily upload it. It's not connected. That's not for me anymore. 